Hello and good morning everyone. It looks like we had a lot more members join us, so I do appreciate your patience while everyone gets logged in. Uh, my name is Daryl Espina. I am the Assistant Enterprise Account Manager here at Showing Time, and I want to thank you all for joining us today on a quick start of Showing Time, which is the new agent-to-agent -agent scheduling service provided by CREB MLS. Now, before I begin, I do want to note this is a one-way broadcast, meaning the audience will be muted today. However, there is a Q&A box that's provided to you where you can type in and ask any questions as we go along. We do have a lot of material to cover, so if I don't get a chance to answer your questions during the webinar, I'll definitely address them towards the end. Here's a quick overview of what we're going to go over today. Uh, it is a lot of information, and so you know, we will be sending a follow-up email later today with a link to the recorded session, as we are recording today's webinar live. Oh, and what we want to go over today are the key highlights so you can get up and running with the system once we go live next week. So again, uh, this system is not yet available in Matrix and will be going live sometime next week. So what we're going to show you is how to add secure showing instructions on your listings using the system, how to schedule single showings online in Matrix, and how to use our showing cart tool to plan your buyer tours. We'll then walk through different setups that you can access. So we'll talk about your agent profile and how to set your default preferences, the customizable feedback, um, and how to set up your listings and add sellers to your listings. We'll also talk about the listing activity reports that will be available to you. And we'll briefly talk about the office setup tab for those with admin or managing broker level logins in the MLS. All right, so we're going to get started here. And if you're having any issues with uh, the audio, we'd highly recommend that you call in using the number provided in your confirmation email. Okay, so we're first going to show you how you can enter secure showing instructions using the new system once we go live. And this is something that you want to do uh, next week so that way all the showing instructions will be entered on your listings and be available to the showing agents when they schedule online. So to do that, we log into Matrix and we're going to access showing time. To access showing time from the home page when you log into Matrix, you'll find the showing time link found under the external link section. Clicking on this link from the home page of Matrix will take you to your agent homepage dashboard that you see here. And so you're aware, these are just shortcuts to the left side menu, and I'll talk more about the dashboard a little bit later. So to enter those instructions on your listings, what we're going to do from our agent homepage dashboard is we're going to click on this listing setup tab from the left side menu. Clicking on this tab will take you to this page where we can search for a listing that we'd like to add instructions to. So you'll see on this page all of your listings in your inventory, and you can simply click on whatever listing you wish to manage or add instructions to. So we're going to go ahead and select a listing here, and that will take us to the listings listing worksheet. I'm going to cover this a little bit later in further detail, and I'll go over this when we talk about listing setup a little bit later, but for now, to enter those in showing instructions, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where we'll find two sections where we can enter our information. Uh, we do have a couple of questions about when we will have when you will have access to showing time. Uh, this is right now is just a preview of what's going to be available. This is not yet live in matrix in your system and it will be going live next week so uh, you won't be able to follow along right now all right also in the confirmation email there is a link to the webinar that you can view uh, please click that link and again if you're having any audio issues please use the number in the confirmation email to dial in okay so going back to our listing worksheet uh, we have our two sections where we can enter our secure information. Under the access information section in the listing worksheet, 
we'll be able to enter any access details such as a lockbox combination code or any alarm details if the property is set up with an alarm system. Below that we have the additional instructions section where you'll notice this free text field available and this was where you'll be able to enter any additional instructions that you want to share with the showing agent. Now this differs from the agent remarks that you're probably familiar with in Matrix. These are secured showing instructions, meaning they're not public facing and they won't display anywhere in Matrix. The additional instructions that you enter in this text field will only be available to the showing agent once the appointment is confirmed. So the type of information you want to enter here are your typical instructions you normally share with showing agents over the phone once the appointment is confirmed. For example, you may want to enter the location of the lockbox or any specific request from the seller to turn off all lights or remove shoes before entering the property. Moving along, we'll now show you how to schedule single showings in Matrix using the new system. And in this section, I'll be switching between a listing agent perspective and a showing agent perspective. As a showing agent, you'll see different end screens and go through different workflows when you schedule online based on the different appointment modes. And I'll talk about those different appointment modes when we talk about scheduling single showings here. So to begin, we're going to look at it from a showing agent perspective. And what we want to do is schedule a showing that we want to show our buyer. So here in Matrix, we have our single line report. And in the report, once we go live with the system, you'll notice the showing time clock icon located on the right hand side. Clicking on that icon will begin the process of submitting your request online. You may also find on the agent detail report our showing time scheduling icon on the top of the photo of the report. So again, clicking on either of these icons on the single line report on the, or the agent detail report will begin the process of submitting your request online and take you to the next screen. If you're scheduling on your own listing, you'll be brought to this screen here where you can schedule on behalf of another showing agent. For example, if an agent called you directly to schedule an appointment on your listing, well, you can manually enter that appointment by scheduling on your own listing, where you'll see this pop-up appear where you can select the showing agent to schedule on behalf of that agent. So on this screen, we can search for the agent and select it here. And once we select the agent, will be brought to this screen, which is our terms and conditions screen. If you're scheduling on a listing that does not belong to you, you'll just immediately be brought to this screen after you click on that showing time icon in Matrix. So on this terms and conditions screen, you'll see basic listing details and a listing photo. Your agent photo if uploaded to your profile, and I'll show you how you can do that later. And more importantly, on this screen, you'll find your contact information. We pull this information automatically from your CREB member profile, but you may choose to edit your information using the text fields that you see here. The information that you have on the screen is actually used for your showing agent notification preferences. And you can enable these preferences or any combination by clicking the checkbox on the left-hand side here. And this is where you'll be able to receive your appointment confirmations through our system. You may enter an email address to receive confirmations via email, a phone number to receive those confirmations via our automated calling system called Showing Voice. You'll also be able to set up your mobile device to receive a text message letting you know that the appointment is confirmed. And you can do that by entering your mobile phone number without any hyphens and then selecting the carrier using the dropdown that you see here. We also have the Showing Time mobile app available for download for those with an iOS or Android device. And you can set up to receive push notifications, which I'll talk more about a little bit later. So when you're done reviewing your contact information and setting your showing agent preferences, you can go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and click on the Schedule a Single Showing button. Clicking on that button will take you to our appointment calendar here where you can then select a date and time for your appointment request. 
One thing I do want to mention is that this calendar will not appear for listings set to our view instructions only mode. And again, I'll talk about the different appointment modes in the next couple slides. So going back to our calendar as a showing agent, you might notice some blacked out time slots on the calendar and these are unavailable for scheduling. These are actually your showing restrictions or required lead times set by the listing agent. For example, if listing agents have a tenant occupied property and require at the very minimum 24 hour notice, they can set that required lead time here to again prevent agents from scheduling during that time frame. You may also notice, going back to our calendar, any gray or shaded time slots on the calendar which are available for scheduling, however, they're considered short notice. Uh, these are the suggested lead times set by the listing agent, and this is the amount of time they would like to have in order to confirm the appointment. So as a showing agent, when you hover over a time slot that is gray or shaded, a message will display letting you know that it may be too soon to receive a confirmation because of the short notice. All the other times are available for scheduling, and when we select a date and time on the calendar, a pop-up will appear where we can verify our appointment details. First, we need to indicate the type of appointment using the first drop-down, such as a first showing, second agent preview, or an inspection, and we can select that using that drop-down. For the second drop-down, we can optionally indicate the latest time we might be at the property, and this is the end time of your appointment. You'll also notice this free text field available, and this will allow you to leave any notes for the listing agent to send along with your request. So for example, if you have a very strong buyer and you want to create some sense of urgency, you can share that with them there. To submit the request, we're going to click on the Yes button, and immediately you're going to be brought to an end screen. As I mentioned earlier, there are different end screens and different workflows when you schedule online based on the different appointment modes. If the listing is set to our appointment required mode, you'll see this end screen displayed on your computer when you schedule online. So on this end screen, you'll notice this large red yield icon. Whenever you see this icon in our system, this is letting you know that your request has been sent to the listing agent but has not yet been confirmed. So you can't show the property just yet because you're still waiting for a confirmation from the listing agent. For listing agents, this is a great appointment mode to set your occupied properties to because it allows you that time to work out different schedules between yourself and your clients prior to confirming the appointment with the showing agent. So when we submit the request as a showing agent, the listing agent will then be notified of that request in order to confirm or decline the appointment. So we're now looking at it from the listing agent perspective and similar to our showing agent preferences, we can enable different notification options to receive appointment requests on our listings in order to confirm or decline. We have email available, two-way text messaging where you can actually receive a request via text message and respond with a Y or an N to confirm or decline the appointment. We have our automated calling system showing voice with automated prompts in addition to the Showing Time mobile app. In today's webinar, what we're going to look at are the email notifications that will be available to you. So again, we're looking at it from the listing agent perspective, and what we have here is an example of the request email we would receive as a listing agent. One of the benefits of our system is that it does help reduce the number of back and forth phone calls. In our email, we know exactly which listing the showing agent wants to show, the date and time of the appointment, as well as any notes provided by the showing agent. In order to view who that showing agent is and to confirm or decline the appointment, we're prompted to click on the Click for Full Appointment Details button directly in our email. Clicking on this button will send a read receipt to the showing agent, letting him or her know that we are looking at the request, and it will take you to your showing time where you can then review the request details in order to confirm or decline the appointment. So in this pop-up, you'll again see the appointment details. So we have our date of the appointment, the time, and any notes. The showing agent details are now available to us, and we can see the showing agent's contact information here. 
this is useful and helpful for those who want to add that personal touch and reach out to the showing agent directly to confirm the appointment in addition to our electronic notifications. At the bottom of the pop-up, under showing instructions for the showing agent section, you'll notice that those instructions that we entered in the listing worksheet will appear automatically in this text field. Now, when we go live next week, agents will be able to schedule online on your listings. And if you haven't had the opportunity to enter those instructions, you can enter them on the fly when you receive the request using the same text field. This is also helpful if you've already entered showing instructions and need to make any last minute changes. When you're done reviewing your request details and you got the confirmation from the seller, you can go ahead and confirm or decline the appointment. And we're going to go ahead and click confirm to confirm our appointment with the showing agent. Once we confirm, both you and the showing agent will receive a confirmation notification. And again, we're looking at the email notifications today. And going back to the showing agent perspective, we have our confirmation email. As I mentioned earlier, those secured showing instructions that we entered in the listing worksheet will only be available to the showing agent once the appointment is confirmed. So in our email, you'll notice a couple of things. One, you'll see this green icon with a check mark inside of it. And whenever you see this green icon in our system, this is letting you know that your request is confirmed and ready to show. And immediately, because we are confirmed, we can see all the alarm information, lockbox information, and showing instructions provided by the listing agent. Here's a quick example of the listing agent confirmation email. Again, we have our green icon on top letting us know that the appointment is confirmed. Any notes from the showing agent, as well as the showing agent contact information in case we want to add that personal touch. All right, so we just went through the process of what happens when you schedule online for a listing set to our appointment required mode. So you're aware, this is the default appointment mode in your matrix system. So when we go live and you start scheduling for the first time, you're more than likely going to go through the same process that we just walked through. Once agents become more familiar with the system and they start setting up their listings, you'll see different end screens, again, based on the different appointment modes. The first alternative end screen I'm going to show you is the go and show end screen, which will appear for listings set to our automatic confirmation mode called go and show. With go and show for listing agents, this is a great appointment mode to set your vacant properties to because it still allows you to control when agents show the property as they'll still see that appointment calendar to select a date and time. But when they submit the request, instead of seeing that end screen with that red yield icon, they're going to see this end screen with our green icon. So again, this is an automatic confirmation mode and immediately displayed on the computer screen will be all the will be all the access information and the showing instructions that you shared with them in the listing worksheet. If showing agents, you are set up to receive different notification options such as an email, text message, or showing voice, you'll receive the same information on the screen via those methods. The third appointment mode that a listing might be set to is called our view instructions only mode. And with this appointment mode, Again, as I mentioned earlier, there will be no appointment calendar when we click on schedule a single showing. Instead, we'll just see this end screen. And I do want to point out, this is a different appointment mode compared to a go and show. With view instructions only mode, these end screen will only display immediate instructions provided by the listing agent. And the information displayed on the screen isn't necessarily a confirmation. So you're not going to see that green icon that lets us know that the appointment is confirmed. So this could be, for example, instructions on how to continue and proceed with showing the property or how to set up an appointment. One thing you'll notice in the view instructions only end screen is that there will be a print button and an email button here where you'll need to click on that so that way you can reference the information on the screen at a later time.
All right, we're now going to talk about our showing cart tool, which you can use uh, to plan your buyer tours and schedule multiple listings at once. So we're going to go back to our terms and conditions screen. And for those who missed the earlier portion of the webinar, to get to the screen, we clicked on the showing time icon in Matrix. And instead of clicking on schedule a single showing, we're going to click on add to showing cart. Clicking on add to showing cart will bring us this page where we can choose a date for our buyer tour and give our tour name so we can differentiate our buyers. Clicking OK will create a new buyer tour. And you can see here that listing that we clicked in matrix on that icon will appear under appointment information. Taking a look at the appointment status column, you'll read that you'll see that it reads not yet requested. And that's because whenever you add a listing to a buyer tour, it doesn't automatically send the request out to the listing agent. And I'll show you how we can send those requests out a little bit later, but for now, let's go ahead and walk through the process of setting up our buyer tour. If you jotted down multiple listing IDs that you wanna show your buyer, you can actually enter them directly in the text field on top, separated by a comma, and clicking on go. So we can add multiple listings to a buyer tour through this way. We may add single listings to our tour by clicking the add listing stop button that you see here. And it'll take us to this pop-up where we can search for a listing, a single listing that we'd like to add to our buyer tour. One of the great things about this is you don't have to enter the full address to add a stop. You can actually just enter partial address such as the street name and listings will populate below and you can just simply click on whatever listing that you wish to add to your buyer tour. We also have a showing cart integration which will allow you to select multiple listings directly from Matrix to add to a new showing cart or to add to any upcoming tour that you previously created. And to do that from the single line report you'll be able to select multiple listings by clicking the checkbox on the left-hand side. And when you're done selecting all the listings that you want to add to your buyer tour, you can click on showing time located on the bottom button bar in Matrix. Clicking on that button will take you back to the terms and conditions screen. And because in our example, we've already created a buyer tour, when we click on add to showing cart, a dropdown will appear to allow us to add those multiple listings directly from Matrix to that tour that we just created by clicking on the tour and then on next. So we now have our listings added to our buyer tour, but say you want to add maybe your home office as a starting point, a coffee shop as a break in between stops, or maybe for sale by owner. We can add that other stop simply by clicking the add other stop button and this pop-up will appear where we can add that other stop. So we'll need to enter a name for our stop and the address, and clicking on add stop will add that to your buyer tour. And in our example, we added our home office because eventually we want this as our starting point. One thing that you'll notice is that whenever you add a listing stop or a other stop to a buyer tour, it's sent to the bottom position here. And this is essentially the order of your buyer tour with number one being the starting point. On the left-hand side, you can see the, the number of that order arranged on the left hand here in that square box. Again, number one being your starting point, two, your, your second stop, and so forth and so, so forth. At the bottom, we have a full map view of our stops with pins for all of our locations. And if we click on turn by turn directions, this will, si this will open up the side panel where we can view the directions between our stops. So using this information, we could rearrange our buyer tour on top. We have a very intuitive system here where we can rearrange simply by dragging and dropping. So as I mentioned earlier, what we wanna do is we're going to take our home office in our example, and we want this as our starting point. So we're going to click on our home office and drag it to the top position. And as you can see here, it rearranges this to our number one position because again, this is our starting point. So we can do that for the remainder of our stops to rearrange our buyer tour. We can also click on smart route to automatically calculate the best route for our tour based on location. And as you can see here, it rearranged our stops on top and it's reflected here on our map. 
Now that we have our order in place, we can go ahead and click the pick a time button. Similar to the pop-up we saw earlier, we can indicate the type of showing and enter our start and end time. So we did have a question here about the how to choose your start and end times. And when you schedule online, you will see a pop-up that's similar to this where you can select a type of showing such as a first showing, second, or agent preview. And you'll also be able to select your start and end times. So on this pop-up, we can click on save to save that information. And we can do that for the remainder of our stops here. And once we have our time selected and we have our orders in place, we can go ahead and send our requests out to the respective listing agents. And we can do that simply by clicking on the send request button located on the top right hand side. Clicking on that button will again send the request out to all of the respective listing agents. And taking a look back at the appointment status column, you'll see the same icons that we saw in our end screens earlier. Again, that green icon is letting us know that our request is confirmed and ready to show. And we'll immediately be able to view the instructions directly in Showing Cart. Whereas that red icon is letting us know that the request has been sent to the listing agent, but not yet been confirmed. But say we have our confirmations uh, come in from the listing agent and we're ready to go out with our buyer. We can click on this print button on the lower, on the top right hand side here and it'll print an agent version of the tour to share, um, to share with ourselves, and it'll print all the showing instructions. We can also print a buyer version of the tour to share with our clients, and it'll have just a limited information. One thing that I wanna point out in the buyer tour that you created, you might see some listings that aren't using the showing time system. And in that case, under the appointment time, you'll just notice this note letting you know that this listing is not accepting online appointment requests and to see the MLS system for scheduling instructions. For example, if the agent is not using showing time and is asking agents to call them directly, well, you can call that agent to get the confirmation for your appointment request and go back into your showing cart where you'll see this drop down where you can manually set the status for that appointment. Also in this example, you'll see this button here on the left-hand side, and this will allow you to leave any notes for that specific stop. So again, in our example here, you call the agent to confirm the appointment, and you can enter any showing instructions that they provided in this text field. At the top right-hand side, I mentioned the print button earlier. You may also click on this envelope button to send your buyer a link via email to the buyer tour that they can open up on their desktop computer or their mobile device. So here's a quick example of that buyer tour. Again, very limited information where they'll see just the key basics such as number of bedrooms, baths, and square footage. Now any tour that you create using Showing Cart, it's saved automatically in our system and you can access any historical tour simply by clicking on the Showings tab, then on Showing Cart, and you'll see this calendar up here where you can navigate in between the months. And you would simply click on the tour directly from the calendar that you wish to view. Uh, this can be helpful if you need to modify any upcoming tours. So if you need to remove a stop or add a new stop, you can access your tour here. All right, going back to our agent homepage dashboard, I mentioned that these are shortcuts to the left side menu, and clicking to any of these will take you to action reports. For example, under showings I have requested, we can check on the statuses of appointments we requested, and we can cancel or reschedule our appointments or schedule a showing directly in showing time. Under showings requested on my listings, we can take action to confirm or decline appointments requested on our listings. And under feedback requests, we can take a look at any feedback needing our attention. Uh, by default, speaking about feedback, it is sent to showing agents after they show a property. And I'll talk more about feedback a little bit later. From the agent homepage dashboard, we're now going to click on the edit profile button, which will take us to our agent profile page where we can set our notification preferences and our default settings. 
Clicking on Edit Profile is similar to clicking the My Agent Setup tab. And we did have a question come in asking if that calendar feature can be integrated with your own calendar. And to answer your question, yes. On your agent profile, you'll see this calendar sync button, and this will allow you to create a sync link that you can add to your calendar that you're using, such as Gmail or Yahoo. So you'll be able to sync your appointments through your calendar. In your agent profile, you'll be also able to upload your agent photo like I mentioned earlier. And you can do that by clicking the up arrow on the left hand side and selecting an image from your computer. Not only will this photo appear in that terms and conditions screen that we saw earlier, but it'll also appear in the email notifications that get sent through our system. So a little bit of branding for you. Under profile basics, we can edit our contact information. And again, we pull this in automatically from your CREB profile. Under listing agent preferences, we can edit our settings for our listings in our entire inventory. So for example, using this dropdown, we can select any of the three different appointment modes that we talked about earlier as a default appointment mode for your entire inventory. Again, we have appointment required mode, which is great for Occupy properties the automatic confirmation mode called go and show for vacant homes and view instructions only mode. Below that we have our notifications and this is where we can set our options as a listing agent to receive appointment requests and uh, our confirmations. So again we have email available, two-way text messaging, our automated calling system showing voice and for those who install the showing time mobile app this push notification option will appear in your agent profile. Any change that you make to your profile, you will see this pop up to save changes. So you want to make sure you click on save changes here. But when making a change to your listing agent preferences, clicking on save changes will bring up another pop up. This is an alert pop up that will provide you with two options. One, you can save the new defaults to update all listings. And you do want to be mindful before you select that option because it will potentially overwrite any configurations you may have made on a per listing level. So again, please be mindful before you select that option. You can, however, click on save new defaults, which won't overwrite those configurations and will only take into effect any new listings you're adding into your inventory. Scrolling down on your agent profile, we have another location to set your showing agent preferences. So again, we can set our notification options as a showing agent. And below that, we have our mobile app access section. So I've been mentioning the showing time mobile app that's available for download. And once we go live, if you would like to download the showing time mobile app, you'll need to access showing time from Matrix by clicking the showing time link under external links and click on edit profile and scroll down to the mobile app access section here where you can enter your email address on file with the member profile in this text field. Once you enter that email, you can click on the send authentication link button, which will send you an email with instructions on how to download the showing time mobile app and log in. With the mobile app, you can install it on multiple devices if you like, so if you have a tablet or a smartphone, you can install the app on, multi, on both those devices. And the key step here would be to open up that email you would receive on that mobile device. Once you up, open up that email, you can go ahead and click the download the app button, which will direct you to the App Store or Google Play, depending on your device. And once it's installed, you want to go back into this email and click on login. Once you click on login, you'll then have access to the Showing Time mobile app. For BlackBerry users, if you would like to have Showing Time on your BlackBerry device, you'll need to go to this website here, www.showingtime.com forward slash BlackBerry, where you'll click on the Help Me Activate Now button to register your username and password. Once you click on that button, you'll be brought to this page where you will create a new profile here where you can enter your email address or select CREB from this dropdown and enter your agent ID. And once you click on create profile, you'll receive this email with a link to complete the registration process. Clicking on that link will take you to this page where you can set your password. And once you have your password set up, 
you'll then be able to go to this website, www.appttcenter.showingdesk.com, where you can enter your username and password on your BlackBerry mobile uh, browser. So you can save that, uh, your username and password, and bookmark this site here, and you'll then have access to Showing Time on your BlackBerry device. So here's a quick overview of the Showing Time mobile app. I mentioned push notifications, and here's a quick look at the push notifications that I talked about earlier. And these are similar to the notifications you receive on your device for an email or text message, and this is letting you know that there's some kind of activity in Showing Time that needs your attention. When you open up the app, you'll see our notification center, and this is a central location where you can view those activities. So for example, you'll see appointment requests or any feedback needing your attention. In the mobile app, we can edit our profile and set our notification options. We can schedule showings directly from the mobile app if we're out on the go. We may confirm appointments from our listing, so we can confirm or decline using the app. And if we scroll down, we can also view our buyer tours that we created on our desktop computer. Under feedback, we can reply to feedback for listings that I've shown. And under my listings, we can manage our per listing settings and enter showing instructions on our listings directly through the mobile app. One thing I do want to highlight here is this light bulb button located on the lower right hand side. And this will allow you to send showing time any feedback or suggestions. And these will be sent to our product management team and our executive team for possible consideration. And this is how we improve our product. So we definitely recommend you sending any suggestions to showing time through the mobile app here. We had another question come in uh, asking if both an email and text message be uh, combined? And to answer that question, yes. Uh, you can set any multiple preferences as you like. So you can set up to receive email, text messaging, uh, push notifications, and showing voice all at the same time if you choose to do so. All right, we're now going to talk, to, talk about uh, listing setup. And I mentioned feedback a couple of times here. As a listing agent, you have the ability to create different feedback templates that you can assign on a per listing level. To do that, you click on Feedback tab, then on Form Design and Settings. And under the Feedback Form tab, you'll be able to modify the actual questionnaire and create feedback templates. For example, you may want to create different templates for your single family homes or for your condos if you like. So on the feedback form tab, again, you can edit your responses and your answers. You can add multiple choice questions or a free text question here, which will provide this free text field where agents can freely enter their comments and recommendations. Going back to the listing worksheet, uh, we're going to talk about how to set up some settings here. And for those who missed the earlier portion of the webinar, we can click, to get to this page, we can click on the listing setup and search for a listing that we'd like to manage. From the listing worksheet, you'll notice this drop down on top, and this will allow you to navigate to another listing in your inventory that you wish to manage. Under appointment settings, we can edit our appointment mode for this individual listing, and below that, we can assign our feedback template to be sent out when agents show that particular listing. One thing that we stress to agents is to never forward the notifications you receive as an agent to your sellers. And the reason being, as you saw earlier, embedded in those notifications are links to your showing time. So if you forward it over to your seller, they can potentially have access to all your confidential information. If you want your seller to be involved in the process of confirming or declining the appointments, you can add them as a contact to your listing by clicking on Add New Owner Occupant. When we click on that button, you can then enter their name, their contact information for your tech-savvy clients. You can also allow access to the seller version of the Showing Time mobile app. And once you add them and click on Save Contact, they'll be added here. And similar to your notification options, you can click on the checkbox here on how they would like to receive their own notifications. Uh, we had a couple more questions regarding the feedback. Uh, 
somebody asked if there are standard questions on all listings and so you know we do have a default uh, feedback that gets sent out that has standard questions uh, created by showing time and again you can uh, choose to edit that template if you like all right so scrolling down on our listing worksheet we're going to continue here under the appointment restrictions section, we can edit some of our settings that affect the appointment calendar that appears when agents schedule online. And here we'll be able to set required lead times that box out times on the calendar, our short notice suggested lead times, the, as well as the maximum appointment length. We'll also be able to add showing restrictions, uh, again, to prevent agents from scheduling during a certain time frame. For those who missed the earlier portion of the webinar, again, we have our two sections here in the listing worksheet, and this is where you'll be able to enter your secured showing instructions. And again, uh, these, the information that you enter in these two screens won't appear anywhere in Matrix and will only be available to the showing agent once the appointment is confirmed. We're now going to click on the listing activity report where you'll be able to view a report that is available to you with all the activity on your listing. At the top, we have a snapshot of all your activity, a graph of the appointments, as well as a graphical representation of the feedback responses that you receive from showing agents. Scrolling down, we have our feedback responses that we can review. And by default, feedback isn't automatically sent to your homeowner. This allows you to review the feedback, and if everything looks appropriate, we can make it available to the homeowner simply by clicking on the publish button that you see here. Under listing activity details, we can view uh, in-depth details of all the activity. So we'll see past showings, future showings, any price change notifications. We'll also be able to view the showing agents and their contact information, as well as the statuses of the feedback request forms that have automatically been sent out to them. Moving to the top of the listing activity report, we can click on the homeowner version button to take a look at the seller version of the listing activity report that you can share with your clients. So here we can email, print, or download this as a PDF. And similar to the agent version, we have our graphs on top. Scrolling down, we have the feedback responses that you've made available to them. And under listing activity details, you'll notice that there won't be any showing agent contact information or feedback statuses. All right, lastly, we're going to talk about the Office Setup tab, which will only appear for those with admin or managing broker level logins in Matrix. And in the Office Setup tab, your office admins and your managing brokers will be able to set some settings for the office's inventory. For example, at an office level, we can set the default appointment mode for all of the office's listings. One thing under Office Setup I want to highlight here is the company branding section. And this is where your office will be able to brand the email notifications that are sent through showing time. So we can upload a company logo here, select a trim color, and here's a quick preview of that email. So here's the email, um, here's the listing agent photo that you can upload, the company logo that you can select, as well as the trim color. All right, we're wrapping up our webinar for today. I know it's a lot of information. And again, we are recording live and we'll be following up with an email later today with a link to the recorded session where you can view at your convenience. Once we go live, you'll also have access to the help and training section in showing time. And this is where you'll be able to view additional training materials. So we have videos and other written tutorials of other features that are available in showing time that you can search for. Scrolling down, you'll also find our support contact information for any questions or any troubleshooting issues. You can contact our support team at support at showingtime.com or you can click on the start live chat button to start a remote session with one of our live technicians. All right, well, this concludes our webinar for today. I will be standing by to answer some of the additional questions that are coming in. Again, feel free to ask uh, your questions in the Q&A box provided to you. And I want to thank you all for joining us and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.